parallel to the east coast of South India are the Eastern Ghats, stretching southwards from Odisha. These low hills end in Tamil Nadu. On them stands an architectural marvel. The fortress complex of Jinji. Located in the South Arcot region in Villupuram district, Jinji is 160 kilometers southwest of the capital city of Chennai. Its location was strategic. Holders of this fort controlled the lucrative trade routes that led to and from crucial seaports like Puducherry. Its vantage point was coveted by many. Over a thousand years, the fort has hosted the Konar kings, the Cholas, the Vijayanagar rulers. In 1677, the great Maratha, Chhatrapati Shivaji, captured Jinji, but his empire extended southwards. While their war with the Mughals raged on many fronts, the Marathas resisted them at Jinji for eight long years, the longest siege laid by any Mughal army in history. Eventually, in 1698, Jinji fell to Emperor Aurangzeb's generals. The Mughals appointed a Kilabar, or fort commander. In return for his military services, Raja Swarup Singh, a Bundela chieftain, controlled Jinji for 14 years in the name of the Mughals. After him, command passed to his son, Tej Singh. The Jinji complex consists of a series of structures within a three-kilometer perimeter. Three fortifications built over three hills protect a palace citadel in the valley below. Among the hill forts, two were strategically vital, Rajagiri and Krishnagiri. Militarily, Rajagiri, at 800 feet high, was unassailable by enemy troops. Any person sitting on the fort can see any troops approaching within a distance of 10 to 12 kilometers. And if a weapon system is deployed on it, the weapon system can take on any enemy approaching to the maximum ranges. It has sheer cliffs on all sides, which means that infantry cannot assault the feature in a standard formation. In today's warfare, we call it a cliff chop assault. Not more than 8 to 10 troops can mount an attack on a feature like that. The only entry path was over a narrow bridge across a ravine. In years past, this was a collapsible device. The bridge could be raised, cutting off access when required. A little over a kilometer away is the other hill citadel, Krishnagiri. It isn't as high as Rajagiri, but just as formidable. The fort is placed amidst a mammoth rock slide, a geological deterrent. There are huge boulders starting from the top right till the bottom. The rocks would not allow any form of mobile troops, whether it was on horses or any other way, to mount an assault on, onto the feature. Jinji was no ordinary citadel. It was a strategic asset to anyone who desired control of this part of the peninsula. By the middle of the 18th century, the British and the French began competing for control of large parts of the south of India. The shadow of foreign rule began falling across the region. As the Mughal Empire collapsed, the British began to connive with the Nawabs of the southern states. As British influence grew, so did their greed, and the locals paid handsomely to keep them on their side. In only a few years, large parts of the south, including Jinji, 
found new overlords, the British East India Company. Today, the mighty fort of Jinji stands lonely and forgotten. Its stories of battle and siege scatter to the wind. Centuries of history still buried beneath its stones. <laughs>